What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about five mini games that you guys can play in the new basement update. So, you may be confused if you don't know how to do this, how to get like really small on the map. There are a few videos out there, I will not be explaining it in this video, but I will do a brief run through. It's in the maze, so there's a coin on the ground, and you have to have the monster. That's all I'm going to give you. Go to another video to see what they have to say. But anyways, <clears throat> let's begin. So the first video game is the mini game. It's the most compatible with this map. Hide and seek. So how, how it's played is there is one there is one tagged lava monkey. And there's nine, eight, seven, six, depending on how many players you have in the lobby. Um <clears throat> there's X amount of untagged monkeys, and they have to run around and hide in three minutes, because this map's pretty freaking big, so th it takes about three minutes to get from one side to the other, so let's just say that. Monkey start on this side, tag mon monkey starts all the way at the top of that, and keep in mind, you all have to be small, no big monkeys allowed, no big monkeys. Keep in mind, it has to be on infection mode, you can't do it on hunt or paint brawl. Um, because then that's teams. But once one of the, once one of the untagged monkeys gets tagged, they have to lo help look for the other monkeys. So that's hide and seek. <coughs> Sorry if I sound weird today. I don't know why, but there's a lot of like, my throat is weird. <laughs> but anyways, um, second mini game, uh, humans versus spiders. This is actually one I came up with. There's one giant tagged monkey. And there's a bunch, there's a bunch of little small monkeys, and it's sort of like hide and seek, except once you get tagged, you can't look for other monkeys, cause you're dead. And once you once you die, you get put into that the maze. Now here's the twist: <clears throat> if you can escape the maze. Without getting caught, once, you can't use the walls, you can get revived. But, you can't go under the table, you have to go through that. <coughs> Man, my voice is weird today. But, anyways, the third mini game. <coughs> Dude, it's so friggin'. Third mini game is war. I haven't tested someone out yet. <coughs> I haven't tested someone out yet, but assume that you go into paint brawl and you everyone becomes tiny and yeah now keep in mind there is a third mini game and this one is one that people have already played before well not but so never mind I was gonna say tag that's technically not a mini game it's just a game uh, so cops and robbers so the robbers start at the front entrance, and they have to make it all the way to the end. And if they get caught, they have to stay at the bottom. If if one of the cops, ta if one like the cops, um, get one of the monkeys, then they have to stay still for three seconds, maybe even five seconds, depending on how hard you want the game to be. And the the little monk guys over there are like jail cells. When they capture you, you can't, you can use the walls, but you can't camp them. So. <clears throat> but. Hmm. A. Now that was the first, second, third, now we're on the fourth minigame. Okay, so. The fourth minigame. I didn't even think of what to say. Hold on. <laughs> Let me actually just real quick write up a good game idea. Oh, yeah. Um, islands. So, or bases. So, one, th th this game can be played on casual. So, it's more of like a role play mini game instead of it being like a competitive or tagging mini game. So, any player can choose their base. Like, some person can choose. This bookshelf, but they can't go on the boxes or anything. Um, 
Like, people can choose a base. That base is untakeable because you can't get there while you're small. But keep in mind, everyone has to be small. Um, and basically, you just t you take a base and you set up the role play and you just do what you want to do. It's um, it's that's some indie game I just thought of at the top of my mind. Nothing really that important and t playable, but it can get really fun if you have the right people to play with. Um, the next one is. I had one. I had one that I forgot. What was it again? Dude, I'm so stupid. Oh, yeah. Uh, race. Race minigame. Uh, sort of like Sharks, Sharks, and Minnows, I think it is. I forgot what it was called. I think it was called Sharks and Minnows. So, yeah, basically, there is a... They, it plays exactly like Sharks and Minnows if you haven't played the game before. I forgot how it played, so you make up your own rules and stuff. But I'm pretty sure that the monkeys start on this side, and the monkeys and the, and the tag monkeys start on that side. So, oh no! So like the the the, the normal monkeys start right there, and the tag monkeys start like in that corner. So, like, it's easier for the monkeys to get a little head start because attack monkeys are faster. Now, the, now the, the normal monkeys have to make it inside the maze to win. Now, that does not mean that you can use mods during this. Do not use mods to go up there and glitch into that. <laughs> you need to actually go into the funnel. But anyways, guys, that was five mini games you can play in the new update if you're bored and it doesn't look fun right now. Um... <clears throat> Keep in mind, you can think of your own ideas, and you can change the rules of any of these games to, to how you see fit. And if people watch this video, if your friend watches this video and doesn't see this message, that means they didn't watch the video all the way through. Anyways guys, thank you for watching, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.